how the fuck does it actually have a uh, dick measuring contest? Yep, yep. What up? I've seen some faggot shit before, man. Why in the fuck are you gonna be discussing your dick with another man? That's the, that's the, the internal question. <laughs> that has to be answered. That's some personal shit, your shit. It's, you ain't supposed to see no man's nakedness, man. That's in the Bible. The scripture says, that's shall not look on another man's that's nakedness. That's right. That's a law. You're not even supposed to look on a, uh, on a woman who's not your wife's nakedness either. Let alone a man. That's adultery. Right, it is adultery. The Lord is strict, and he's supposed to, you know, be strict. It's his law. I got some more of this, man. All right, we're going back into a... The, and the devil. Taking him up into a high Hey, we got script. We on a new video, so... Oh, yes, oh y'all yes. changed the app battle? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's the script number? Oh, this is Luke 4. I'm going I'm to start at 4. All right. And, and Yahweh Shai answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the most high Yahweh. This is the bread right here. During the Last Supper, what did they eat? The bread. The unleavened bread. That goes back to the Passover. Okay? Because the real bread, the real food is this. That's why he said, Thou shalt not live by bread alone. I got something to back that up. So but go ahead. every word of the Most High yep. is the devil taking him up into a high mountain, showed up to him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. He, he like, you know, he, he like, uh, show, he like fast forward and showed him this present time. When these motherfuckers so driving around, so. all their fancy cars, getting in jet planes, you know. These nasty bitches flopping over, feeding them little ass grapes when the grapes are the size of a mountain. <laughs> you know, he just showed them the wonders of this world, which these niggas was quick to sell out for, you know, quick to sell their soul for. The Lord. And the devil taking them up into a high mountain, showing them all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Now come on. Anybody with common sense don't want to want none of this shit. And your house shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast, thy, cast thyself down from him. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hand they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt death thy foot against thee. And the oh, answered and said unto him, it is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord of thy power. And when Look at this old midget bitch. And when the devil had ended all his temptations, you know, I find that to be kind of funny. Yeah, it's funny. You know, I find that to be very attractive. That's very, very interesting. She wants you to kill it. Yes, you will. You hear that car that just go by, you always could tell an expensive ass car when you. I'll rip that bitch in half, son. They said that midget hookers cost double the money. Oh uh, fuck, she wasn't no midget though. She was uh, like... No, she, she was, was a, a midget. She was a hobbit. Midgets that have big heads and little stubby fingers. What's she smoking up right now? <laughs> That's a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and when the devil had ended all his temptation, he departed from him for a season. <laughs> he got her on the <laughs> I'm sorry, man. And Yahusha returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him throughout all the region. Right. Around As you see, the Lord took the, I mean, Satan took the Lord up to a mountain where, the, you know, he, he showed him pretty much uh, America. And he's like, if you bow down to me, I'll give you this, this kingdom. It's just like the scripture said, what did the Lord say about this world? He said, my kingdom is not of this world. He said, if, if my kingdom was of this world, my servants would fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. So he said, to hell with this world. Being a king, you know the Lord.
Lord is the King of Israel, right? But when he's crucified, what did they put on the cross? Look, as soon as them sirens started, the locusts started making sounds. And the number seven came by with the locusts. That might be the annoying that sound, but believe me, I love that. They just set off some frequencies. Right. Some bad happened. You're right about that. Oh, it's at the Newport. I love it. Yeah, hopefully someone got moshed to death in the pit, mosh pit at the Newport. Stage dive and nobody caught him and busted the yeah, damn he head open. Up in the I was about to tell you, the Lord is the king of Israel. When he was born, you know, the wise men, it's, remember, they, they say it's three wise men. They don't tell you how many wise men there were. There's a bunch of them, a whole gang of them probably. But they came and they brought him gold. They just ain't giving him one look. They brought him tons of gold, bro. You know, that shitload of gold. They brought him gold, frankincense, okay? So the Lord was rich. He had great riches. Oh, man. And he pretty much said, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said, fuck the riches, fuck this world, fuck all this shit. Oh, hold up. Here, here. What you about to get? The Matthew? Fuck the rich. About what? Oh, man. Also, to those wise men, you know those was the Israelites that came and brought the Lord all that gold. Man, they came from the east. And the angels. Oh, uh, and the angels too, right? Because yeah, yeah. those were the Israelites, and which proves that the Israelites was living outside of Israel. Because you had Israelites that got carried away in captivity. You had Israelites living all up in Persia, up in Iraq, up beyond the Black Sea. Mm. You ever hear the Scythians? Mm. The Scythians lived above the Caucasus Mountains, above the Black Sea. A lot of them is where a lot of the Vikings came from. Those are all Israelites. What you call them? Scythians. 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 Goths. Uh, that's what they called them later. Barbar. Well, they weren't barbarians. Yeah, Scythians. 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 Some people. Some people. I heard some people say. That's where the Scottish get their money. I don't know if that's what you know. Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received the time. That's clear. Woe unto you that are rich. The Lord had great riches, but he, he didn't give a damn about those riches. The, he said the Son of Man doesn't have nowhere to lay his head. So the Lord was essentially homeless. He didn't give a fuck. He had superpowers anyway, like he cared, you know what I mean? Damn, he saw him fucking come and lock you up for living in the woods, for, you know? Yeah, well, they locked up John the Baptist. Right. Chopped his head off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they will do that. You get, they, they'll lock you up for being homeless. Mm -hmm. When the whole earth is our home. That's crazy. You in the woods, of wilderness, and you can't live. It's private property. Yeah, that's private property. This state owned property. This state owned shit. You get fined. For, you get fined for living on the earth that you was born on. <laughs> what kind of madness is that? That's oppression. Now, we can't even go like over there in the Middle East. They can go build a mud hut or something, right? Or Africa. They, you can't do that in America. What if I just went and got me a plot of land that would, nobody was on it? I could scope it out for two weeks. I'm like, nobody's been here for two weeks. So I, I, I'm getting me some adobe bricks, get me some clay, some mud and straw. And I build me a brick house. You're gonna take me to jail for trespassing. You know what I mean? Like you can't build a brick house. They, you gotta get that shit inspected. You can't get no, you can't make no brick house out here. They that shit gotta get inspected by the city. You know what I'm saying? You know this goddamn devil. He got to lock the fuck down. Only the devil. Only the devil. And they. Huh? It's like the devil, it's like the, he said he's gonna fall an angel. So it's like the actual. Well, we're falling angels, bro. That's who we are because we fall and we broke the Lord's law. So, so, so we're falling angels. Fallen angels. He, he broke his law, so he took our, our, our the, the spirit from us. You know, yeah. the bodies, our fucked up bodies get break, get sick. You know, 
He looked like Stephen fucking. As soon as he talked about being sick and messed up, a dude yeah, went. Told example. The most I've been doing that all day today, dude. As soon as we say something, an example go right by it. Yeah. Left and right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's been happening all day. That's how I know we in the spirit today. That's right. That's right. Some right. days the spirit is stronger than others. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're the fucking angels. We're the fucking angels. <laughs> Some reptilians. This is the angels. This is the angels. With the great alien. Uh -huh. They, they probably forgot to take their butt plugs out. They, they in goddamn La La Land. They ain't got a fucking clue about what's going on. They don't know shit about the world. This dumb as fuck. It's dumb as hell. They ain't got a, a fucking bunch clue. Of, a bunch of punk ass pussies. And that's how the devils like it. A bunch of dumb ass pussies. But they all feminist bitches. All the men are fucking yeah. Bunch of feminist stupid bitches. The, men, the women more fem, more masculine than they are. They are too. That's crazy, man. The women are more masculine than these motherfucking sorry ass men. Yeah, I got a scripture for you. Remember, he was just uh, read that scripture when the devil, Satan, came up to the Lord in the wilderness and he told him to turn that rock into a, a, a loaf of bread. And what did the Lord say? He said, man shall not live by bread alone, right? All right, let me read this. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you read this before. John 6. And 32, then Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you. All going back to that word I showed you earlier, Amma, which means truth, and Amen means truthfully. When you look this word up in the Greek, verily, verily, it says, Amen, Amen. It means truth, truthfully, truthfully. Like, that's the word, verily means uh, truth. Like, to verify something. What does that mean? You verify it to see if it's true or not. Yeah, well, oh yeah, I can say I like this girl very much. The word "very" comes from the word "barely." I want some other words like that. There's a there's a ton of them, dude. You'll see that a lot. Uh, veritas. That's uh the Latin. That's where the Latin word comes from. Because "verily" is a Latin word. It comes from the Latin word "veritas," which means truth. What's up, homie? Read the Bible. You know you're an Israelite. That's a so I already read it. It looks like you had a wild spirit on you. Well, let me read. Uh, Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven. Hold on a second. For the bread, of, excuse me. But Moses gave you yeah, not that bread from heaven. Anybody got a lighter? Nope. Uh, I don't smoke, bro. I feel like my soul's on fire when you read that. Oh, the Most High going to bring some fire. He give you a light. Yeah. I wish you hurry up. But I'm gonna skip down to this, man. Uh, I'm gonna skip down to verse 35. John, because I this I could read all this. I'd take all day. You know what I'm saying? Go so John 6 and 35. Yeah, how was I said unto them? I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believeth on me shall never thirst. So that's why the Last Supper, they was eating the unleavened bread. The Last Supper was the Passover meal. Okay, and what else did they eat at the Passover? You eat the lamb, right? But what is the Lord called? He's the lamb, the sacrificial lamb. He is the Passover. But that's why he said at the, uh, at the Last Supper, what did he tell him? He said, he said that that bread is his, is his flesh, and that wine is his blood. Don't mean it's actually his flesh and his blood. Like the Catholics would say, that's really his flesh. Yeah. That's a metaphor. Yeah, perform the actual act of Because that, because that bread, that bread represents this word. Because it's unleavened. Because leaven ain't good for you. If you, if you got leaven up in your bread, that's not good for you. Because unleavened bread is way healthier. What's up? What's up? Gluten free. Oh well, that yeah. What it, no, well, that's a new thing. That's oh, yeah, that new thing. Oh yeah, just die without gluten, but a man does not live on bread alone. Right. Cause <laughs> the real bread is this right here. That's the why. The Bible is the word, but nobody's supposed to care. 
sell it. Oh, yeah, you want, you it was want. the exchange of clothing and, uh, you know, stuff like that for uh, money and other shit that means nothing that caused all the problems that you speak of. Well, yeah. the Bible said money's the root of all these things. He said, yep. He's holding the Bible. I trust him more. Let me read this. Let me read this. Isaiah 34, 16. All right. Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye. Hold my hands. Knock it. You don't lay hands? Do you lay hands on anybody? Uh, nah, we don't do that, bro. You don't pray? We pray, man. We don't, we don't pray, pray in public. I'll pray with you. The scripture said to pray in the closet. Uh, in Matthew I'll 6. Pray like this. Matthew 6, you can pray right, in your mind. Right. Pray in your mind. Right. 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 Isaiah 34 and uh, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh, and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered him. That's what the spirit was. We just spirit gather word, right now. The spirit was spoken. That's the sacred word. It's going to be spoken right now. Uh, I mean, that's the point. I could read that whole thing, but... You know what I'm saying? That's just the point, though, because the Lord, he's the bread of life. You know what I'm saying? I got another scripture in the back of that. I'm going to finish up this point. We talk about the bread of life. I'm going to go to Isaiah. This backs up, some, this backs up something Jesus. you just said. Isaiah I'll let me read it. Christ. Okay. I'm Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Because the word is also known as the rivers of living water. Oh, I okay. drink. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath... And he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. But it, it, a simple person think that's talking about actual water. It's talking about this word. This is a free, we passing out hot meals. Like these churches will go pass out a sandwich, uh, a ham sandwich, but we passing out scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You got this wisdom, man. It flows like living water. Well, it's like, it like, like Bruce Lee said. What did Bruce Lee say? He said, you got to flow like water. He said, water can flow or water can crash. That's how you know Bruce Lee just... Uh, he said, you put water into a pot, it very, becomes a pot. Very yeah. spiritual man. He yeah. was a very spiritual man. He's a philosopher. That's how he reached that high level of uh, his form of uh, fighting. Because he was extremely spiritual. He was really like one of the best fighters in the world, actually. Literally, now, he wasn't literally. just a movie star. Right. Because his fighting skills is what it got him into the movie. You know what I mean? And then something that Joe Wilcox is doing. They took his ass out. <laughs> he deals with a lot of, you know, he deals with a lot of Jake's like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Jimmy you know? Hendrix. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous what Michael's doing, man. I'm talking about before he was winning championships. Oh, Michael was terrible. Yeah, his scoring so average was the highest before like 38 he was winning. 38 points. And that was like in the 80s, yep, before he even yep, won a championship. Yep, yep. Before the championship. Did Jesus have a losing record so far? No. It is, that's, no. What are you saying? He's saying Amer the Lord's going to destroy America with fire. Oh, so America was standing on Babylon. This is Babylon. So Babylon is not Zion. Now this is Babylon. This oh, is Babylon. So where are you from? He's from Israel. Israel, me too. Very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, yeah. Are you there? We all, we all Israelites, bro. Jordan? Uh, Jordan's my nephew's name. Alex is my Well, Jordan come from the River Jordan. And Mackenzie is my niece's name. So let's talk more about my family. You know the word family? Come from a Latin word that means slave? I do. Uh, you are you Pharaoh or are you Moses? The Pharaoh means a big house. Let's talk about the Red Sea and how it parted and why it was blood and not water. The Red Sea, when you're reading the Bible, it doesn't say Red Sea. It says the Dead Sea. No, it says the Reed Sea. Because so many of them died. It's a wop. It's the Hebrew word. It is. It means, uh, what about the pyramids in Egypt and how they sacrificed on top of them? They probably did do that. Why did they do that? Because they, they were cannibalistic. Why were they? Because they were Mayan. Why? 
Maya. The dinosaurs existed before humans. Hold, hold on, you going crazy right. now, bro. Well, maybe not. The mines were Israelites. The mines were Israelites. Over there. Yeah, yeah, you've been, you been watching Ancient Aliens. Not really. I don't watch cable. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's I just, just make it. That shit rock your brain. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> yeah, the mines were Israelites. Yeah, a lot of people and say. Also gone, like said, they the fuck out. That's another saying. He mentioned the Red Sea, though. The reason it's called the Red Sea. And the Bible's not called the Red Sea, it's called the, uh, I think the word is, what is it, Shawas, I think? I gotta look it up. It means the Reed Sea, okay? But when you, <laughs> it's called the Red Sea, is because it, the Red Sea is right next door to Mount Seir, which is, who lived in Mount Seir? The Edomite, Esau, Edom. Edom means red. That's why it's called the Red Sea. Because Edom is the one that gave it that name. From Esau, the devil. Yeah, Esau reading this book, man. This book goes through so many locations. You can't help but look at maps. Yeah, because... Uh, you get in the habit of looking at maps, you find out you know where everything uh, is. You, you, know? you really can't read the Bible without a map. You know what I mean? You really can't. You can't. Because every other... Uh, especially when you're in the history parts of it, every other sentence is, uh, tells you the name of a city or the name of a river. You got to know where that stuff is to get, a, to get a picture in your mind of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? What's that place called? Ashdod? Ashdod? Yeah, Ashdod. That's a poor city in Israel. It's always been a major city in Israel. Which one is it? Which city? Ashdod. I'll take that. Hey, um, it's a nice song. It's the same. I don't have one. It's just expensive. I mean, I got one of the rides on the phone. Man, I found out, man, the Esau loves to know the phone. The tribulations of Abraham. It's one of the long books of the Bible. I never seen anything. Yeah, the tribulations of Abraham. I'm about to look it up. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The tribulations of Abraham. And the dude, the Edomite, was he named like four other books that they claim was in the Bible. I never heard of but actually, you know, I think here, man. I think I do know. You know, I think I have read that. Actually, isn't that the one where? Uh, I ain't never read that shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I do. I know, I haven't read it because it doesn't exist. Right, right. No, because they say the one is out now. It's fake, though. It's not the original. Straight up. I said it's bugged out. If I'm not mistaken. Well, do you parts of what's the end of the tribulation of Abraham to the, uh, prove the Bible's not real? Oh shit! Right, right, right. I thought the whole com comments, comments, comments fucked up. I thought the comments I read, they were killing the dude, man. Yeah. They were killing the dude, though. Know. You know that's Edom, like, that comes out with that dude. You can always tell if the Israelites writing in the other nation. Yeah, like the book of Enoch. When you read the book of Enoch, you know it's bullshit just by reading it. Because the parables and the metaphors it uses, it ain't got the same smoothness that the Bible had. You know, it's like they trying too hard or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I be reading yeah, Enoch yeah. all the time. I got, I be reading when I take a shit. You know what I'm saying? I read that in the Book of Mormon while I'm taking a shit. I, I, I thought it was pretty interesting the part when it, well, Enoch, when he's describing uh, the vision he had in heaven. How uh, everything was separated in different parts. Certain people were over in one part, certain yeah. people were over in one part. So, so the kingdom of heaven, like if we drop dead and die, the spirit goes to heaven and the Israelites do go to the side of the heavenly father. But the mother nations don't be on the same side. The other the same spirit. They're on a different they vibration. We're totally somewhere else. Yeah, they, they, they got their own spot. Mm -hmm. We're all on different yep. vibrations. Yep. Over in the, in, the, in, in the spirit world, there's order. You know? There's yeah. order in the spirit world. That's right. And that's funny, your boy Giorgio Tupinopoulos, or whatever his name is, he quoted the book of Enoch. He quotes it all, that, that's the only book he knows is the book of Enoch. That boy, that dude from Ancient Aliens. Um, he got a new show called In Search of Aliens. That's, that's, that's all, him and Eric Von Daniken. And Eric Von Daniken, he admits, you know who Eric Von Daniken is? He wrote this book called Chariots of the Gods. I got it. All right. But he admits that he was taught everything by Jesuits. He grew up raised by Jesuits. He admits it. I mean, so the Jesuits, those are the, that's, that's who runs the Catholic Church. Well, they're all so-called Jews, too. You know what I mean? 
like the Pope, the current Pope, Pope Francis. He's a, he was a Jesuit. They say he was the first Jesu Jesuit Pope. What? First Jesuit Pope? Right. 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 Jesuits. The first one. The one that's in there now. They call themselves the so-called Society of Jesus. But they're really the Society of Satan. They're, they're like fucking highly trained assassins and ninjas. And, now I'm not joking, bro. They, they kill motherfuckers. They take people out. They have poison your ass. Hey, the movies is real. When you watch the Godfather, what? that's another thing. Watch the Godfather. This whole movie, they like six years seven. You gotta watch Godfather. One and two. They're good at you. Gonna Don't like watch it. three. Three is whack. Well, there's a lot of shit in this movie that is bad, man. That's telling you what's yeah, relevant. Like, like, so shit that's relevant, you know. Like the Catholic priest and the, the main mafia dude was hanging out with the Catholic priest. Right. You know? they, yeah. The Pope was hanging out with the Pope. You know, making business moves and shit, you know. I mean, they put everything in movies, man, that's actually real, man, you know? Don't well, listen to these fools and say the shit ain't real if you listen to movies. So, you cut the fool like that out. Well, movies are based on real life. Mind. You gotta go have the truth, man. You gotta have it be open, you know? That's why, so, that's why they make all the Bible movies. Like, that shit really happened. It really happened, right. That's why they make movies on Alexander. <laughs> make movies on uh, the Western movies. Does it really happen? They always Hell. make... Santana Quino, his new movie coming out. The Terrible Eight. I heard about that. The old Western movie before yeah. the before the um before the, that happened before the Civil War. Oh, I thought he wasn't released it because the script got out. They're they making it now. They just started. He, he was started. mad as hell. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's a big fan. And that movie's gonna be bad. I bet man. It's probably gonna be a lot of racial shit in. It's probably gonna show a lot of how. Uh, oh, his like, last movie is racist as fuck. Django. It's gonna be. It's gonna be some uh, controversial. Well, because Quentin Tarantino. And he be hanging out with the RZA. So Quentin Tarantino pretty much knows he's an Israelite. Man, he's a big old faggot. But he, but he is a big faggot, though. You know who the RZA is? The RZA, the Jizza, the Ghostface Killer. That's the only rapper I give any kind of credit to, bro. They're all, all these rappers are funny. He's probably a faggot. I don't want to talk bad about RZA. Even though he be off on some bugged out shit. But I'll give RZA, you don't know who RZA is? He started the Wu-Tang Clan. You know the Wu-Tang? It rap. It, it, RZA is one of the best rappers. Bobby Digital. Of all time. Bobby Digital. You don't know about Bobby. Uh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> even do it. Nuts. <laughs> I always like me some Wu-Tang. Some of them had uh, cool personalities, like cool. Uh, Ghostface, like, um, the Gizzard, the Jizzard. Old Dirty Rizzo. Bastard. Like, old Dirty Bastard. Like Method Man. Method Man. And he's whack, man. Faggot man. man. His dude, they made the movie with. Red Man. He, Red Man wasn't Red, even yeah, in Wu-Tang. Right, right, right. Well, I'm saying, because RZA, he's the only one I ever heard. He quoted the book of Obadiah in his newest album. Because, like, the no, you know, Great Millstone is the apostle of Great Millstone, right? They, they knew Wu-Tang. Uh, yeah, Wu-Tang went to their Passover for one year. Because if you listen to a lot of Wu-Tang, they got that one song on the, uh, the Liquid Swords album. And there's like 144,000 uh, chosen electrons and protons cause explosions or some shit. But they was talking about the 144,000. When I was a teenager listening to that shit, like, I didn't know what the fuck he, I thought they was making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. But I didn't know it was all from the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Because almost everything they was talking about was based on the Bible. Like, uh, Killer Priest. He had this song on the, the same album on Liquid Sword. Look up Liquid Sword, Killer please. Priest was going through the can too. Yeah, but now he's bugged out talking about right. the Anunnaki. Right, right, right. Talking about right. Sumeria. Yeah. So Killer Priest gonna get it. Boy, he got it coming. He get down with your homie, Giorgio. Killer Priest Giorgio. gonna get killed. Uh, Cause Killer Priest was in Tahar's camp. They got videos on YouTube where it show uh, the elder Tahar with Killer Priest reading for him. So they know all about these scriptures. So going back to Quentin Tarantino. So Quentin Tarantino. He probably told him he was an Israelite or something. He's like, oh, you actually a nigga, Quentin. So that's why Quentin Tarantino thinks he's a black. Well, he's a black guy, actually. But he, yeah, yeah, faggot, ass faggot ass nigga. nigga. It's a pale ass nigga. Yeah, he got it. Oh no, get her on camera, dude. Is she a street artist or something? What's she doing? She begging for change. Is she? Oh, is she? Homeless and hungry. Man, Dad told me the other day I brought a cat home and like. He was like, dream is fucked up. We seen a girl on the side of the road. She was cute. She was wearing a mini skirt. She had a sign that said homeless and needs help. She wouldn't let me bring her home. 
she let you bring a cat home. <laughs> hey, my dad, my dad be talking some sense sometimes. And he should, she should have like, she, she's homeless. Let me bring that bitch home. Hell yeah, bring him home to, bring her home to sure. Paul. Yeah, Max, that, that messes you up when you see people out there all fucked up. You know what I mean? He's really homeless with the cup. That's what her sign says, homeless and needs help. And look, she looked fucked up too. She's probably doing a documentary, she ain't really homeless. Yeah, she? Fuck him though, actually. I don't know. I've seen her before she sat down, she looked hot. No, he's a fuck up, he's a fuck up. She can't talk to we used to see salmon a lot down here too. <laughs> well, actually, we see more. Yeah, more because it's Chinese Central right here. God damn. Right. It's a, you think we in either one second we in China, the next second we in Baghdad. You know what I'm saying? All these goddamn heathens out here. I feel like you smelling some near, near ass nasty ass Hindus. Yeah, some goddamn Hindu heathens. Pakistani, Hindu. Pakistani fucking faggots. Living next door to a rat. Yeah, Living next door to a family of they rats. Got, they got. They got documentaries on YouTube and on the internet, on TV, where, where they show the Hindus let rats eat out the same bowl of soup as them. They got rats chilling on their shoulders. And they're, just, they're living amongst them like their people. If one of us sees it's a, a real city. And another thing about those foul ass East Indians, there's a city over there that they killing, they making women, they find out they have a female, they abort them. Because they, they want, they want they, their, their idea is we build a stronger nation, more men. Now how the fuck you gonna build a nation of mostly men yeah, no women. and no women? They ain't too smart. That's some heathen shit. Now how much faggot shit going on then? You know? And that's real. And that ain't just India. That's China, Japan, doing the same shit, man. Killing the female girls, but having boys, man. Ugh. Heathens. The scripture says follow yes. not in the way of Yeah, heathens. China does the same shit. They got a one child policy. Yep. I think they raised it to two. The boy. China, man. It's really... Man, this is a fucked up world, man. I hate this fucking world. You gotta be in the... You in the road, you in the right state of mind, man. How the fuck you gonna like this world be comfortable, man? Looking forward... I'm looking forward to tomorrow because me and my girl, we're going out to eat, you know? And even though, yeah, we talk shit about America. But it ain't just America, it's the whole goddamn world. You can't escape this shit. And that bitch ain't lifted her head up once. She in a, she's she she sleeping in a low state. She fucking ashamed. Man, that's, that's weird though to see a woman begging. Usually a woman can just go suck someone's dick. Suck right, right. Yeah, she probably don't want to shoot up or. Either that, she, yeah, she, she don't want to suck no dick. Yeah. 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 Let me read this real quick. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the Lord, for DMX. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the ways of the heathen. It means you ain't supposed to be no fucking Muslim, a goddamn Buddha. Exodus 20. No American, no Christian. These Christians are heathen. They're not Christian. Like they abuse the shit out of that word Christian. Abuse? They, they, they turn Christian into a cuss word, a curse word. A dirty word, a, prof uh, a profane word. I'll tell you what, they make this Bible look bad. If they could, but they can't do that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do. That's what they're trying to do. They're hardest to try to do it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why we don't like use the word Christian half the time. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't fucking ruin it. They're about trying to do so much Greek in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's Greek. They put some edification on the word. That's why, that's why we rarely call the Lord Christ. That's right. You know what I mean? Even though that's one of his titles, the Christ, the anointed one, that, the, anointed, the chosen one. When I read the Bible, it's coming off the first word Christ, I say anointed and sin. Yeah, because these people, that's all they talk about is Jesus Christ. That's the spirit of the angel. I'm right here with Trump, 20 and 1. Exodus 20 and 1. And the Most High speak all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's the first commandment. Right, 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 right. They call Egypt the house of bondage, because now we got a lot of uh, our people into that Egyptian shit. 
If it ain't, if it ain't uh, the black, hey, on the, I heard so black. nigga bitch it's coming to mile away. Oh yeah, fucking dirty. Oh ashy ass pussy. But you got a lot of these uh, so-called black people. They call it, talking about ancient Kemet, talking about Hotep, talking about we pharaohs and uh, Mandu being queens and all this nonsense. And then you even got white people talking that Egyptian shit too. Talking about you gotta use the pyramid power. And all the ancient mysteries was in Egypt, in ancient Kemet. And you gotta learn the sacred geometries. Obviously, these bitches disgust me, dude. I try not to look at them too much. That's, not, that's your Nubian queen. The black woman just out of habit. The black women, you know, that's just out of habit. But if I had a choice and I had the choice, man, I wouldn't have a fucking black rats, man. It's very hard to find a black woman that I actually know her spirit is, uh, you know. I got that. She ain't all ghetto and shit. That's, that's, it's very, I'm telling you, you know, because I be looking. It's hard to find a black woman that I can actually believe. It ain't all loud mouth and disrespectful. Yeah. You know, they actually got a humble spirit. That's rare. That's, that's rare. Even these white bitches die. These Irish bitches is the same way. I just got your dude. He did giant ass ollie up on the curb. These white From bitches the in the hood is the same as these black bitches, man. That's how you can tell they all Israelites. They know goddamn good. You best off getting a Chinese bitch. Uh, motherfucking... Anything of any other nation. <laughs> oh, man, Mexican, the You can deal with the women of other nations. You can deal with them. But you got Israel scattered among the other nations too. There's a lot of these fine ass women you see out here. A lot of them are actually Israelites, bro. They just, you know what I'm saying? They just like us. They forget they forgot who they were. They ain't no different. Even though I get mad over these Muslims, a lot of these Muslims are actually Jays. Well, you gotta correct them. You gotta correct like you said, follow not the ways of the heathen. The Muslims are goddamn heathen. So we supposed to get mad about that. They better hear and get some blessings because right, you know, because when the time comes, most likely gonna turn Satan against these devils. Well, Obama's about Full to go. Throttle. They about to go up in the Middle East. They going back to Iraq. That shit heating up, ain't it? They going right back over there. That, that shit heating up, He just sent a thousand yeah. troops over there today. Oh, did he? Ukraine too. They sent the troops into you. Oh, that shit. It's, yeah, it's about to. The shit done hitting the fan and shit splattering all over the fucking place. That's he right. said he just sent the troops today to protect the embassy from suicide bombers. Oh, yeah, I seen that. This shit is not going to calm down. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And yeah, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, he was just talking shit. He was bragging about how many nukes Russia had. He says, you don't want to mess with us. I mean, that's not exactly what he said. I, that's essentially what he said. He said, you don't want to do it. And he mean it, don't Yeah. You hear what Biden said? He was like, we're going to follow ISIS right to the gates of hell. <laughs> Biden's a goddamn Jew. Joe Biden, the vice president, is a fucking Jew. That's a big old He's fatty. wearing a yarmulke. When that, uh... When that bastard died over there in Israel. Remember when you said Obama had a huge rod? He was oh, like, yeah, he has yeah. a big stiff rod. And believe oh, yeah. me. You seen that video on YouTube? When, uh, when, uh, uh, Ob uh, yeah. He was trying to quote Teddy Roosevelt's speech. Do you know Teddy Roosevelt? The old president from way back. He was, he, when he was running for president, he had his thing. He's like, I carry a big stick. <laughs> But he was trying to quote that about Obama, and he was giving a speech to a high school crowd at a high school. And he's like, and trust me, Obama has a very big stick. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody just started laughing. <laughs> the po-po coming. So he's dumb as hell, man. Joe Biden's a big dumbass. That's the, that, but he wasn't, he ain't got no power. Obama ain't got no real power. The motherfucking Jew, that, the Jew put them in power. Man. He even what to say, what to do, where to go, yep. everything. Everything. That's why when well, that he loves it that way too, though, because he's having, he got it going. On. That's why when that shit was popping off down in Ferguson, Obama was golfing. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> he was golfing. He didn't have a care in his heart about them niggas down in Ferguson. He don't give man. a goddamn. Right. Michelle too didn't give a shit. Either. She don't give a fuck. 
That big. Oh, you see, uh, your girl Joan Rivers just dropped in. Oh, okay. This morning? She got it. Yeah, it was the doctors that killed her. <laughs> yeah, she. They, they, they took that bitch out. I wonder. I was thinking that they took her out for what she said about the, uh, the, uh, 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 Michelle Obama. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Then the man. That's kind of a coincidence how she just said that. And now she, now she dropped dead. Because she would have never dropped dead if she didn't go get more of that surgery done. She was having routine throat surgery. Cause I saw the docu I saw her, uh, the reality show, man. That bitch didn't have makeup on. She got out of bed. Oh, her shit. daughter went in the room. I was. She got a Michael whoa. Jackson though. It didn't even look nothing like her, man. Nah. It wasn't even her. Nah. It wasn't even her. Her whole shit is all fake. Mm -hmm. She was 81 years old. Yeah. But it was, she would have probably lived. She a Jew too. You know Joan Rivers is, don't you? Oh, you know that white bitch. She actually she called me a Jake. Yeah, yeah, she she. She was young. That bitch was a cool bitch. Yeah, she seemed like. She probably sucked up numerous. You know, she admits to sucking more dick than you can count. She admits that shit. She got no shame. That bitch is a straight up slut. She told you. Did she say she fucked her way down top or something? Man, she said uh, Michelle Obama was a transvestite. <laughs> She's like, everybody knows it. Now the bitch is dead. I thought that bitch was gonna live forever. <laughs> I didn't think she was ever going to die. And her she ugly ass... better, too. No, nah, you know, her daughter ain't no goddamn Israelite. That bitch is ugly as a motherfucker. Yeah, she no she beady, little beady ass eyes. What's that bitch's name? Uh, that bitch is ugly as hell, man. Like a witch. Like a witch. Uh, her husband committed suicide, that juke motherfucker she was married to. She probably drove his ass to suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Only an Israelite woman can do that. Oh, yeah. That's more proof she'd be an Israelite. Huh? <laughs> right, right. Took all that motherfucker's money and everything. <laughs> yeah, because I was shocked when I first learned that Joan Rivers was a Jew. I, didn't make, I was like, wow, really? But I, you know, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. Was, yeah, Israel scattered among all nations, man. Because you know, you know who the Beastie Boys are? You don't know who the Beastie Boys are. Uh... You don't know who the Beastie Boys are. No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Motherfucking uh, Paul Revere. Intergalactic. Yeah, all that shit, bro. But they are so-called Jews. There ain't no way in hell they was actually Edomites. There ain't no way in hell. They got too much funk and rhythm. They got all played the guitar, drums, and all that. You know what I mean? With, with skills. They was kicking them with all the, uh, the black dudes, the rap. They was pioneers of rap music. They was one of the first people who signed to Def Jam. Yeah, they was on Def Jam, right with uh, Run DMC and uh, who else was on Def Jam back in the day? With that fat bastard Rick Rubin was producing. That was that, like the second wave. Right. Oh, yeah, the second yeah, wave. Yeah, first wave was like a uh, Super Hill game. Right, when right. well, that was the, yeah, the real. Yeah. That was the late 70s. Late 70s, early 80s. Right. And then the BC Boys came in when MTV sort of blowing up. Right, with Run DMC. The Run DMC. Cause they pretty, they had to say yeah the, oh that fat boys were my shit when I was little kid when they do that beatboxing the boys that was the second wave that was the, yeah, shit. the second wave yeah cause yeah each each time they got a little more sophisticated with that shit and then when, but when the night when the best rap was in that late eighties early nineties that's right that's right the Scarface and the Ghetto Boys Wu Tang Pac. That fat bastard bitch. Whatever was coming from Los Angeles, like the South Central. Oh, uh, South Central Cartel. That was my shit. That's that was the havoc. The Bloods and the Crips. <laughs> NWA. NWA. You know. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Easy E. Mm -hmm. Oh, Easy E got that song. He's like, yeah. Easy E ain't no motherfucking Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. He got, you know what I'm saying? You know that's an Israelite. Now look at what we're doing. Look at where we're at now, man. You don't even want to turn the fucking radio. I ain't heard a good rap song in years. Never. No, it is, ain't rap no more. It's oh garbage. Oh, my God. Look right at this now. bitch. That's just food. It's just fucking food. It's just mindless, mindless noise. Noise. Exactly. It's fucking noise, man. Because all they're doing is repeating this uh, saying over and over. Some stupid saying. Have you noticed how simple their rhyme schemes are now, too? It's all dumbed down. Everything now is dumbed down. So, the zo so a zombie can digest it. All these people, they zot, they mindless zombies. They got something called a tiptoe, tiptoe in my Jordans. Tip? That sounds gay as fuck. Tip, what? Tiptoeing in my Jordans. <laughs> I heard that too. They got that one song, Jay's on my feet. 
cheese on my feet. You wanna talk about some foolishness, man. I heard that, uh, I don't even know too much of the new shit. Uh, I had a document that. The States that way. I, li I listen to your boy Riff Raff every once in a while. That crazy. Uh, oh, I ain't never heard of Riff Raff. <laughs> that motherfucker's crazy. He's out of his goddamn mind, bro. Riff Raff? Really? Riff yeah, somebody told me he'd be watching uh, GMS videos. You never heard he of got Riff MTV Raff? tattooed on one shoulder, BET tattooed on his other no, shoulder. No, he got the M. Yeah, he got MTV tattooed on his He's out he got Pepsi boy. tattooed on his arm, Coca Cola. He's, he's a white boy. Right. Out of his goddamn mind. I mean, he's just. Fuck the fuck out. That's crazy. Your boy Riff Raff. <laughs> you ain't heard of Riff Raff. That's crazy. Look, now nah, you got, you got, if you got, dog, you got, it's comedy, bro. You got to see. <laughs> I got it, okay. You got to see. You got to see. I'll check it out. You, you, you know what Riff Raff is, don't you? Uh, you don't? <laughs> you don't either. That's that new shit. It's quite good. I thought, yeah. I thought you was up on that shit. Oh, uh, he been, you listen to that gospel music, huh? <laughs> like, I'll fuck with you. <laughs> Oh man, I was serious with gospel over the case. Oh god. I like this guy. Early 60s. Oh, that's the good shit. Yeah. And that weirdo, uh, that weirdo, uh, Little Richard was a uh, part of it too. Oh, Satan. Little Richard. That man, man, that motherfucker got some harmony. Got yeah, he, he, even though he's a big faggot, he, he's weirder than weird. He's weird. He, and he's still alive. He's torn. Man, he, I, I forgot. He's 80 something. You gotta be. Still torn. Jimi Hendrix used to play guitar for him. Yep. He told Jimi Hendrix to cut his hair. He's like, you ain't you ain't taking on my, my shine. <laughs> and he told Jimi Hendrix, he's like, you need to cut your hair. Yeah. You trying to take the spotlight from me. <laughs> but now he tried to talk all good about Jimi now. Like, ooh, Jimi, he was the greatest I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you know Jimi you know Hendrix is, don't you? Hey, this dude's fucking amazing. Oh, shit. NFL is starting. Oh, yeah. you can hear him singing the national anthem. They blasting that shit. You know the national anthem was hijacked. I got a scripture for Since we talking about music, let me get a scripture.